hi and welcome to Inbound to Explain. In this video, we're talking all about HubSpot tasks, specifically how to create them, how to manage them, how to assign them, and much more. Let's get started. So in order to create a task in HubSpot, you want to go over to sales, and then from there, go ahead and click on task. Tasks are really great um, for kind of having like an accountable to-do list within HubSpot. So if you're somebody who thrives with a to-do list, then task will probably become your best friend. <laughs> also, tasks are really nice if you have multiple people on your team um, handling different types of projects. Uh, you can assign tasks not only to yourself, but to other people on your team as well. So it's a good way of just making sure that everybody uh, knows what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, you have access to tasks if you have, I believe, uh, if you have HubSpot um, Sales Hub, and I believe on some levels of HubSpot's Service Hub, but I would double check that uh, just in case. But let's go ahead and look into how you can use this tool. So when you come into task, this is what it's going to look like. Um, what you'll see is basically a list of um, the different tasks that you have to do. You can organize them by all of them. You can organize your task by, you can see which ones are due today, which ones are overdue. If you have upcoming tasks that you uh, haven't fulfilled yet, uh, you have a few different things that you can look at. Also, what's nice is you can organize the different tasks that you see uh, in each of the different lists as well. Um, you can organize it by the assignee, so who assigned the task, or excuse me, who's assigned to the task, um, by what the task is. So do you have to do a call? Do you have to do an email? Is this just a to-do type of task? When is it due? You can organize it by the, the due date. If you're in a queue, you can add, uh, you can see your task organized by that, and you have access to a few other filters as well. Um, if you have a task that is assigned to you, um, what you can do is you can actually click directly into the task, and the the tool will take you to where you need to go in order to fulfill the task. So, as we see here, this task was follow up with example number one. Um, and in this case, the task was assigned to me. Um, when you are completing a task, uh, once it takes you to the page, it's up to you to, to do the task uh, itself. Once you've completed it, you can come up here and you can press complete. If at that time you can't complete the task or maybe you just don't want to deal with it that day, you can skip it. And if something has come up, you can also reschedule the task if you need to as well. So let's go ahead and just complete the task just so you can see what it looks like. You'll get a nice little check mark and then HubSpot will give you the option to move on to your next task. So if you look here, um, it sees that the progress is one out of five. So out of all those five, um, five tasks, we've completed one, uh, but now we still have four more waiting for us. So if we go ahead and press next, you can see that now HubSpot will take us to the, ne to the next task. So if you um, are trying to get a lot done within a set amount of time. This is a really good way um, just to knock all of them off all at once. Let's go back into the tool. Um, so now let's take a look at how you can create a task. So um, there's two main ways I would say that you can create a task. So one is coming into the task tool and coming over here into create task and you can go ahead and create uh, the task manually. So when you do this, you have to go ahead and give it a title. So let's just say um, follow up with lead one, just as an example. We can decide what kind of task it is. So let's say that we're going to do a call here. You can assign a priority to the task. Let's go ahead and make this one a high priority task. If you have any records or objects in HubSpot, you can associate it with that. Uh, then you have to des decide who the task is getting assigned to. In this case, I'm um, keeping it assigned to me, but I do have the option to assign it to other members uh, of my team that are inside of HubSpot if I wanted to. Uh, if you have a queue created, you can associate that here. 
then we need to decide when is the task due. So how much time are we giving uh, for this task to get completed? Uh, you can choose how many days uh, you want here as well as the time. And if it's a task that repeats, you can go ahead and set up the configurations for that as well. Um, how do you want to be reminded about the task? So you can either do no reminder, you can do 30 minutes before, an hour before, you have a few different options. The reminder uh, will come inside of HubSpot and I believe as well uh, through email if you have your email um, set up with HubSpot. So if you have your, your inbox connected with HubSpot. And then um, you can also give notes. So this is really useful if you're assigning the task to yourself, but you have a lot of tasks, you can give a little bit more context. Or if you're assigning it to somebody else, you can say, um, you know, please call so-and-so, they want to know more about this, um, or, or whatever the task is. Once you've gotten all that information down, you can either create the task or you can also choose to create and add another. So if you have a lot of things that you got to get done, uh, then you can go ahead and press this one as well. But here, we'll just go ahead and create. And now we can see that this task is in our to-do list. And if we go over here into upcoming, we'll go ahead and see it there as well. The other way that you can create a task is actually through um, automation. So if you have access to HubSpot's workflow, workflows tool, then you can also create tasks automatically uh, by creating a workflow. So I'll show you what that looks like. If we come into workflow and we go to create a workflow, um, you can decide to either create a custom workflow, um, but in our case, I'm just gonna use one of these templates that HubSpot already has created for us. Uh, but in your case, if you wanna create the template from scratch, you have that option as well. Um, if you wanna learn more specifically about how to create workflows, we have a whole video about this. Uh, but just for the sake of example, let's just go ahead and choose this template. So if we click on create templates here, then you can see that depending on what enrollment trigger you have set up, you can send an internal email notification, but then more importantly, you have the option to create tasks inside of workflows. So this is really, really useful because um, instead of having to manually create the task every single time something happens, so let's say, you know, um, you you get somebody submitting a form on a, on a contact form or something like that, for example, um, having to manually create the task or create a reminder to reach out to that lead can get cumbersome if you're doing it all the time. So uh, by making a workflow, you can automize or automate this process and you don't actually have to manually create the task each and every time. So what it would look like, um, in this case, it, it was already added in, but if you want to know what it looks like to add the task in a workflow, all you have to do is click on the plus mark so you can add in your action. And then we just have to scroll down and find the task um, option. So here we'll do create a task. And then basically it works uh, pretty simil similarly to how you create the manual task. The only difference is now this one is gonna be automatic. So you still have to give it a title. So we'll say follow up with lead. Uh, you have to decide when the task is going to be due. Let's say at a set date and we'll say three days from uh, the creation. Um, do you want there to be an email reminder? We can also say, let's say, two days before. If you have any notes, you can add more context to the, to the task. Again, you can decide what type of task it is associated with any records, um, give the task priority, and then most importantly, decide who the task is going to be assigned to. Now, what's really great about doing the task um, in a workflow is you can decide to send it to you can decide to assign the task to a specific user, or you can um, decide to assign the task to the existing owner of the contact. So uh, that's also a really great option as well. And let's go ahead and press save. And there you have it. Um, in this case, I'm not gonna go ahead and publish this workflow just cause this is an example and this workflow doesn't make much sense since we don't have anything else set up. Um, but if you were wondering how to create a task through a workflow, this is how you would go ahead and do it. If you want to learn more about Sales Hub, 
check out our video all about Sales Hub. And if you want to learn more about HubSpot in general, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.